delicious Singapore hawker food at Circuit Road Food Center. Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we are going to Circuit Road Food Center to see what we can find here to eat. So, join me after the intro and we'll do just that. Like in all videos, we need to start by how to get there. First of all, get yourself to Mata MRT station, which is on the downtown line. So once you get out of the gantry, you turn left and walk straight down in that direction. You'll be looking for exit B. Correct. So keep walking down that direction, heading towards the escalator which will take you to the street level or another alternative way to get there is you walk slightly to your left and continue walking down and what you see here now is actually an elevator or lift that will take you to the street level so what you do is you press the button the door will open get in press street level so you get in from here and this is one of those uh, lifts where the door to exit is actually on the opposite end so once you reach the top here which we'll be reaching soon remember we are at downtown line Mata MRT station so once you get out you need to walk straight down that direction straight there to get and if you take the escalator you should come up here that's the escalator but we're going to walk straight down all the way down and here the room in front of us is circuit roads but to get there we need to cross the road but before that let's get back downstairs and here we are going to take the escalator up all the way to the top remember we are at Mata MRT station, which is on the downtown line. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the escalator all the way to the top to the street level. And we are reaching the street level soon. If you remember earlier, we took the lift and we were actually on our left here. But what we're going to do is once we get off the escalator, we're going to walk straight and we're going to walk down this flight of steps and in front of us now is circuit roads after the field so walk down the stairs turn right for a short while then turn left and you need to cross this road here this road here is actually Mata Road and what we will do is we need to cross here to the other side get towards the food center and here is the view of the food center and also the blocks that is actually behind the food center so hit straight then turn right and you actually need to cross a bridge and this bridge will actually bring you across Pelton Canal which is a small canal that runs through this area that actually runs beside Circuit Road Food Center and you notice on where we are here now we are actually at a big field and this big field in the future I doubt that there will be more MRT uh, there will be more HDB flats they will probably build condos and residences around this area here and here is what's called Pelton Canal and right in front of there is Circuit Road Food Center that's where we're going to go to eat the food there. So let's get to eating. Before we get down to eating, 
let me introduce you this place. This place is Circuit Road Hawker Center. And there are actually two small buildings, Block 79 and 79A. And this food center is actually right in the middle of McPherson. And this area here, this food center is actually also known to sell uh, vegetarian food. So a lot of the food that I re recommend to you here, you can actually find vegetarian versions of it at this food center. And also this food center here is mainly a dinner location. So come here during dinner time. If you come here during lunch time, it will be empty. Let's start off our food adventure here today with this stall called Sun Li Lor Mi Stall. And here they sell a dish called Lor Mi, which is a popular dish in Singapore. And here they cooked a version of Lor Mi, which is quite similar to what you get. Only thing is the sauce or the gravy here is not as starchy as other places. This dish cost me $3. What you get is you get a lightly starchy gravy sauce but still has a very full flavoured savoury hockey taste to it. The chilli sauce, be careful, it's very spicy. If you put a little, it goes a long way. Uh, the noodles are very nicely cooked, well cooked, nice chill texture to it. And the other ingredients here are just a bit average. The, all the condiments like the deep fried pieces, the fish slices, the pork belly, all um, average. But what they do really well here, like I mentioned earlier, is the sauce. It's lightly starchy, but it's super flavorful, hockey, savory. Uh, you can put more vinegar to it if you want to, but for me, I felt that the sauce here is so good that you don't need to actually add in any vinegar. It's good enough as it is. And a very well-known stall at this food center is this shop here called Cha Kui Tiao, or sometimes known as uh, Dancing Cha Kui Tiao. And this shop here serves a very different version of Cha Kui Tiao that you don't normally get, that you can't get anywhere else. So the price range is from $3 to $4.50. So the price will depend on the type of egg you get. For me, I got uh, the $4 version. And like I said, this is a very different kind of char kway teow that you cannot get at other places. First of all, there is no pork lard and no pork Chinese sausages that come that goes into these noodles. And it's also the most colourful uh, plate of char kway teow I have seen in Singapore. So if you come here expecting to get a Singaporean style char kway teow, this is not it. What you have, you have a noodle that is cooked similar to the Penang style of char kway teow, but healthier. No pork. Um, instead of that, they use like vegetarian sausage, they use uh, chicken ham and it's healthier and they also put in thin strips of tofu, chives, bean sprouts in here so it's the dry version um, not and they also put in cocks, cockles but even though it's cooked following the Penang style of uh, Chao Kui Tiao it doesn't taste like that it tastes much healthier the main flavour you get here is the flavour of the egg and also the chai po which is uh, preserved vegetables together with garlic and chives which flavour most of the noodles here. The most colourful plate of char kway teow, very delicious. I actually quite like this plate of char kway teow. Just that, if you're expecting to have a Singaporean style char kway teow, you will not, this will not live up to your expectation. And another place you can eat here is at this stall called Cheng Man Ki Pig Organ Soup. And here, they sell another Singaporean favourite called pig organ soup which is like the name pig organs cooked in the soup this one I ordered the mixed pig organ so it cost me uh, $4 for the soup and an extra 50 cents for the rice so what you have here first of all the soup the soup here is slightly more sour than what you get at normal other shops and this sourness actually comes from cooking 
all the pig organs and the bones together with preserved uh, vegetables. But the soup, the sourness, somehow goes very well with the rice. The rice here, the serve is dry but firm. But in the combination of dry and firm rice together with the soup, very good. And they are also very generous with the amount of ingredients in here. Lots of amounts of pig organs, but, but, the, but the pig liver, the meat, the, the pork belly here, a bit overcooked, but the intestines done very well, soft and tender. Overall, what's really good here is to have the refreshingly sour soup together with the rice. A perfect combination and totally delicious. And something, if you like soup, you like pig organs, you should try. And lastly, we are here at this shop called Halal Delicacies. And here, on the left, they sell uh, deep fried snacks. On the right, they actually sell cooked food like fried rice, different types of fried rice and something that caught my eye is chicken stew and beef bakute a new dish that I have not tried before so obviously I have to try it so this dish cost me $6 and it's called a beef bakute I haven't eaten beef bakute before so I decided to give it a try at this store so what you have here you have a very nice beefy soup which is uh, spicy and also flavoured with Chinese herbs. So this soup does have a beefy taste. So for those people who don't like the taste of beef, this is not for you. But if not, something interesting to try. It's very Chinese herbs inspired because there's actually Chinese herbs inside the soup to flavour it and also served together with sambal. This sambal, you eat it together with the soup or without it, I prefer uh, to eat it without but the sambal will add a spicy and an extra flavour dimension to the soup that is also very good and the soup here goes very well together with rice so you have a beefy soup which is spicy, spiced beef chilli and Chinese herbs together with lots of garlic, fried shallots and goes amazingly with plain rice something new something delicious something you have to try and so that brings us to the end of our food adventure at this moment at circuit roads food center there will be more food adventures here coming up soon so stay tuned and before we go please do me a favor please help me by liking my video sharing my video and subscribing to my channel you don't have to, but I would appreciate it if you do. And lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next adventure. See you then. Bye-bye.